to do the lattice there's a couple different ways you can do it. I think I'll just start over. I In my uh, basic shapes, I have a A2 card size lattice, and I could use that. But I'm going to click this and use Control Shift and oops, Control Shift and drag to make another one. And again, this was three and a half inches, so I'll make this um, 3.25. 3.25 enter. If I want to do a lattice frame with this, I need another another uh, piece inside of this. So I need to do a shadow, and I'll make that maybe minus 1.5. Now it needs to be a little bigger. 0.2. Nice thing is you get a visual here. Point maybe 2.5. Yeah, that's good. Now, uh, I'm going to undo that because I think that was too, this is a narrow piece. If I get the shadow too big, it hides the lattice. So I'll do it at a point two. except. Okay, let me change that to uh, the same color. I'm going to select both of these. Now I'm going to select the inside and click on the lattice. We haven't done lattice for a while. So I click on lattice, apply, preview on the mat, and make sure that all three of these are checked. Auto simplify, delete the original, and inverse lattice. That's the most important one when you click on apply and preview. If you like how it looks, if you don't like how it looks, you can adjust the width, the gap, the angle, rotation, and all. And then click Accept when you like it. Now all I need to do is select the frame and the lattice and join them. And now I have a nice lattice that's perfect for that size piece. You can print your, your message on either one of these panels. And then you can add whatever text, whether it's... Um, new baby, baby girl, baby boy, uh, I did get well, you could do any words that you would like to have to go with the theme of your card. Then you can, um, what I did to add the rose, I didn't just plop it on the lattice. What I did, let me see. I went into the gallery. I'm not sure that I remember. I'll refine the search and go to vase and search. Lots of vases. See, there's, well, there's only 10 files, so that should be easy to find. Should be. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if it's that one. Yeah, there it is. So I just left clicked it, control C to copy. Then I will go back to my other project here. Control Shift V keeps the size. And I'll use that and I'll I'll do um just drag it to the size that looks good. And then I need to find that rose. Now you could use any one that you like. How many do we find? We found 110 roses. Let me view my notes and see if I wrote down which rose I use. I don't have my file open. Um, I should get that file. Open, get well. So, didn't write down which rows. Did write down the assembly as instructions, but it's, this is pretty straightforward. Um, what I wanted to show you was this. Underneath this rose, it's not just lattice. What I did was I traced these shapes and then I welded them to the lattice. So
So let me just copy that here. You can look for it if you decide you want to use that. But this is the, the two shapes that I found. So what I'd like to do is select them all and do a shadow. And this time, maybe just do a point 08 shadow. Let's see if that will work. So that it adds a shadow around most of it. It didn't, didn't thicken that uh, rose at all. Oh, there we go. And accept. So now I'll just take that outside shadow that I got here. It might be a little big. Let me do um, black out of that. I'll inset a shadow on it. Maybe a minus 0.02. That's good. A little better. Now I'll just um, kind of center it with the frame by selecting both, typing S to stack. They're both selected still. And now I'm just going to um, weld. And now I have a place to put my rose right on top of there. It'll glue and it kind of gives it a shadow of its own. 